Our friend, actor and talk show host Drew Barrymore announced that she is pulling out as host of Sunday's MTV Movie and TV Awards in order to show support for the members of the Writers Guild of America who began their strike this week. Barrymore said, quote, I have listened to the writers. Everything we celebrate and honor about movies and television is born out of their creation. And until a solution is reached, I am choosing to wait. The executive producer of the award show, his name is Bruce Gilmer, told Variety, they fully respect and support Drew. The show will go on, but without a host, Barrymore said she'll be ready to host next year. The award show will also go on without a red carpet uh, or interviews beforehand. MTV, like CBS, is owned by Paramount Global. So for more on this, let us bring in Variety TV editor Michael Schneider. Michael, thanks for joining us. Definitely, definitely. Good morning. So you wrote an exclusive article about Drew pulling out of this hosting gig. Uh, you've covered entertainment uh, news for years, and you had this exclusive on the story. Uh, just for the audience who may not have read your piece yet, I mean, what did you learn and what did Drew tell you? Yeah, well, this is a very last minute uh, move. Uh, they've been planning this show for months, obviously. And, uh, you know, this is one of the marquee shows on MTV, the movie and TV awards. So it's a pretty big deal that she's pulling out and it's uh, forcing the producers to really pivot. But that's part of the larger issue of the writer's strike, which is uh, uh, really triggering a lot of changes right now in the industry. A lot of folks pulling out in solidarity with the WGA, uh, the Writers Guild. And uh, it's, it's sort of a fast moving news story. It definitely is. When I heard it, I sort of gasped because I've been watching that commercial like over and over and over <laughs> again. And I was like, man, Drew looks like she's having a good time. Right, right? Right. Um, so I, I, I was surprised. And I did actually think, you know, will this have an impact? Maybe Jabera is too big yeah. for it to have an impact on, on her career. But I imagine others are wondering how they can support the writers, but are concerned about whether or not there they could be some fallout for their career. Yeah, it's 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 going to be a scramble, and everyone has their own decision. You're right, and Drew Barrymore, she'll be fine. Uh, it's all a part of the same uh, corporation, and uh, they've already have that agreement, like you mentioned, for her to host next year. Uh, but yeah, it's everyone is sort of figuring this out right now, and and no one really knows quite the protocol. It's mm. it's sort of a case by case basis. Some people are pulling out of events. Some people are still moving ahead. Uh, it's a little bit of a fog of war moment uh, for a lot of folks. We're only in the fourth day of the strike, and this could go on for a while. So I think a lot of folks are reassessing things now, their involvement in, in certain events. And uh, moving forward, we'll see in the coming weeks what happens to a lot of events. Yeah, and, you know, Michael, I also thought to myself, and I said this earlier on CBS Mornings, that uh, the first thing that I thought is, Drew Barrymore is Hollywood royalty, never mind her famous family that's been involved in film and theater going back 100 years, but herself as a, as a producer and a director and an actress, um, now talk show host, uh, that if anybody can sort of lead the way and serve as yeah. sort of a shining light for others, it's, it's Drew Barrymore. And the other thing that I thought of is I don't know if people really fully understand what the writers do and how they are instrumental, crucial to, the, to uh, film and television. I, I made the example recently that if you take a, a, a scene from the book, one of the a Game of Thrones books, for example, The Red Wedding, which goes on for, you know, hundreds of pages, right? Uh, uh, and then you ask writers, hey, can you can you distill this really complicated, you know, uh, literature into, you know, 15, 20, 30, 60 minutes of television? That's like, it's mind blowing the amount of work that would have to go. Or here's a concept without a book. Right. Here's a concept. What I need you to do yes. is write an entire season right. with a with a story arc that is engaging, create the characters. Like it's not just, you know, so-and-so says this, so-and-so says that. No. It's bringing this idea it's, to life. It's, every, it's like, hey, uh, shark attacks swimmer. Go. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a skill, and and we forget that writers are also on set. So yes. just because you pointed that out, yeah. it's not the the end of their job. And uh, what we're finding now is productions are continuing to some degree, but they're quickly realizing, oh well, we need a writer on set for rewrites, for punch ups, uh, to make sure that this is the best that it can be. Yeah. So a lot of shows now are shutting down, even though they were able to continue. The script is done. They're realizing, oh. The script is done, but it's not really done. And so I think we're going to see a lot of production shut down in the coming weeks as well. We've obviously already seen the talk shows shut down, Saturday Night Live shut down. But now the, the remaining shows that were in production, they're having to decide in the coming days and weeks, oh, can we continue without the writer on
on set or are we going to have to shut down too? Yeah, there's so many elements to this strike. Yeah. I, I know we'll keep talking about it. And I, I'll just I, say I one last thing. I know we got to wrap, but one last thing. We are often talking about the writers that you see when they are credited on the screen. Yeah. We rarely talk about the hundreds and perhaps thousands of writers who are uncredited, as Michael, you're pointing out, uh, who do work on film and TV and perhaps are just doing some doctoring on that script. Mm -hmm. That's also, the, the, we're also talking about that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, go Drew. Yeah, it, it's under the radar, folks, who this strike is oh, really about. 100%. Uh, Michael Schneider, thank you so much.